mechanics of special relativity, empty space is a boiling, bubbling brew of virtual particles popping in and out of existence at a time scale so short you can't see them in fact. Like your movie of, of what, what empty space looks like, and I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. But now, it may sound like philosophy to say, well, we're introducing these things that get, appear and disappear at a time scale so short we can't measure them. But in fact, that's not the case, because we can't measure these virtual particles, as they're called, directly, but we can measure their effects indirectly. And the fact that they're popping in and out of existence changes the properties of atoms in a, in a calculable way. In fact, it allows us to calculate the energy of a space between atomic levels that produces a type of light that I think you saw in some of the show before this. And, and without including the effects of that, we get the wrong answer. But when you include the effects of virtual particles, you get not only the right answer, but the best prediction in all of physics. You can compare theory and observation to nine decimal places and everything agrees. So we know that those virtual particles are there. And this picture here that, that you're allowed to look at while I'm talking, to take your mind off my, my words, is, uh, is actually the picture of empty space inside of a proton, inside of the, uh, one of the elementary particles that makes up the nuclei in all your body the particles that make up the mass of your body. And the interesting thing is, this actually isn't just an artist rendering, it's a real calculation of what's happening. It was actually shown at the Nobel Prize ceremony a few years ago by the people who first developed the theory that allowed us to calculate what was happening here. And the interesting thing is that, that you may have heard protons are made of three quarks and stuff, but, the, but in fact, if, if that were all there was, you'd be, you wouldn't weigh anything, essentially. It turns out that these fields that are popping in and out of existence in empty from empty space give almost all the mass to your proton. And therefore, it's almost all the mass to your body. And therefore, it's very important that these things are there. You're, you're, you exist because of these, these fluctuating fields. And, and they give up mass in a way we can, in principle, calculate with, and, and, and calculate, the, in principle, the mass of the elementary particles. Now, Great, so if you can use this for atomic physics and for nuclear physics like this, we should therefore be able to calculate how these fields affect truly empty space, not inside of the proton, but when there's nothing there at all. And, uh, and we, we can do the calculation. When we do, we come up with the worst prediction in all of this. And we calculate that the energy of empty space should be, there's a one there, should be roughly one gazillion times the energy of everything we see. There should be 120 orders of magnitude more energy in empty space than everything we see. And that's just impossible. As I say, it is literally the worst prediction of all this.